Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to today's episode on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have a story from our brother, who became paralyzed as a result of what his wife and pastor took him through in the course of their marriage. He said, I should share with his brothers out there, to be mindful of certain things that happens in their relationships or marriages. I asked him why he was asking me that question. I realized, he didn't want to continue with whatever he came to tell me. But then I told him to be honest with me, since he has become like a brother to me. It was there that, he said that, my wife has been coming to the place with a certain man in a private car. And sometimes, he sees them kissing in the car. I decided to go home and continue my medication. But then, the man opted to go with me, so he can see where I live and be checking up on me regularly. You won't believe what I came to meet in the house, where we stay in as husband and wife. When we entered the house, we knocked at the door of my living room, only for my pastor to come out of my room wearing only boxer pants, without anything at the top. As soon as he saw me, he went inside and in about some few minutes, my wife came out having a cloth wrapped on her body. This is another confession that took us by surprise. He shares with us the difficulties and the things he went through at the hands of his wife, leading to the collapse of his business and everything he had. I bet you've never heard this before. Let's get into the story and see what really happened during his marriage to his wife. As part of our policy, we don't mention names unless the sender asks us to do so. So, I've edited the names to hide the identity. Without wasting much of your time, let's go and listen to the story. Hello, I am a man in my late 40s. I met this lady I told her I wanted to be with her. I proposed to her and she said that she has accepted my proposal but she didn't want to hide anything from me. She told me that she is pregnant and the person responsible for her pregnancy, she can't find or hear from him. I asked why she is not going to his family to tell them what the problem is. She said that he actually didn't take her to his family. So, she really does not know any of his family members. I thought about what the lady told me and after about a week or so, I called her and told her I was ready to accept her pregnancy as mine. I asked if she's told anyone about it and she said no. So, I told her not to tell anyone that the pregnancy is not mine. I really liked her and I was willing to make her my woman if only she was also willing to travel the journey with me. She agreed to my proposal and I went to her house to introduce myself to her parents. I told my family about the fact that I have impregnated a lady I wanted to go and ask for her hands in marriage. They agreed to it and we went to her family. Discussions were made and all the necessary arrangements were made towards the marriage ceremony. The day came and I got married to her. She became my wife. Our families were happy that we decided to get married after the pregnancy. To them, I was responsible for the pregnancy. And that is how it remained. I was the father. Business was okay and things were moving on well for me. I had acquired another place for the branch of my office. But then, a friend asked me to sell the place and now that business is going on well for me, I should plan on putting up a building for my family. It sounded good to me and so, I gave the new place I got to someone else and used the money to acquire land. I did just that, and I started building. At this time, my wife was pregnant and I asked her not to be coming to the shop. She should be home and take good care of herself. So that, there wouldn't be any complications during her pregnancy. So, when she gave birth, I needed to sometimes do certain things for her. Even though her mother came and helped her with the bathing of the baby and all those things. But sometimes not everything that they could do, so I needed to sometimes give them attention. Therefore, I decided to go in for someone who can help me with errands at the shop and take over when I am home helping them out. So, I brought this guy from our church to help me out with the activities at the store. When my wife started coming to the store and met the assistant at the shop, she immediately told me to get rid of the guy from the shop. I didn't understand what she was saying so I didn't heed to what she asked me to do. She told me that, if I was not going not going to sack the guy from the shop, she would never step foot at the shop again. True to her words, she didn't step foot at the shop again. But then, something unexpected happened. 
Our second child fell sick and, I did all I could but we lost him. This was so painful for the both of us. I spent some time home without going to the shop. It was all about phone calls with the boy at the shop. In about three to five months, things started going down at the shop and I didn't understand. I went back to the shop and wanted to salvage the business. But I didn't work. My business collapsed. One morning, I went to the shop and the boy was not there. I thought he wouldn't come to work early. I tried calling his line but it wasn't going through. So, I first opened the shop, only to find out that everything in the shop was gone. I tried reaching the guy any way I could but I didn't get to him. I went to my pastor and told him about it. The pastor said he had not seen him for almost about two weeks and was even coming to find out from me if everything is alright. I told my wife about it and she said she didn't want to talk about it. Since, she told me not to allow him at the shop but I didn't listen. From that point on, my wife changed totally. She wasn't the same woman I married again. This went on for a while and one day, I couldn't control myself. So, I tried hitting her, but slipped and hit my head on the tiles which was in our living room. I went completely off. I woke up only to realize I was at the hospital. I spent about five days at the hospital. All these was, my wife was coming to the hospital with food. Whilst at the hospital bed, I couldn't feel anything with regards to my right side. Also, when I fell, I had hit my head on my right side. So, it did affect my right eyes. I couldn't see properly with my right eyes. On the fifth day, I was asked to oh, come home and continue with herbal medicine. The doctor confidentially asked me to go to a man that he gave us the address. He said, he was good when it comes to treating people with this kind of condition. My wife all these wires was with me. She helped me and I went to the traditional doctor to help with my condition. When we go there, the man said that he was going to admit me at his place in order to be able to look after my health very well. I forgot to tell you that my wife had earlier asked me to sell the house I was building so I can invest the money back into my business. But then, I didn't not take such an advice. But then in about two to three months into my treatment at the man's place, she brought up the idea of me selling the house again. This time, it was for me to use the money to take care of the bills that were coming. Since she was not working and needed to also continue with our first child's education and also use some of the money to pay for my bills and everything. This time, I accepted her idea and showed her the papers to the building. I had finished with roofing and left with plastering and painting. So, it was almost complete when my issue came. One day, the healer came to me and asked if he can talk to me about something. I told him yes, he can. The man asked who is the lady that always come to visit me. I replied that he is my wedded wife. And I have a child with her. I asked him why he was asking me that question. I realized he didn't want to continue with whatever he came to tell me. But then I told him to be honest with me since he has become like a brother to me. It was there that, he said that, my wife has been coming to the place with a certain man in a private car. And sometimes, he sees them kissing in the car. That is why he wanted to find out who she is to me. Because he wanted to let me know, so I tell her to stop that, because that place is not for lovers. This information was like a cut through my heart. So, my wife could be cheating. This was unbearable for me. At this time, she was not coming to clinic like she used to. Sometimes, it could take like five days to even one week before she comes to visit. And here was I thinking that, maybe because of the boy's education, she was not getting enough time. The man had to even seek the help of one young lady to help with my cleaning and all that. This was a very difficult moment of my life. But then, the man promised me that, he was going to do anything possible within his capability to help me get back on my feet. I was praying to God every day to please give me a second chance to be strong again. This was my only prayer from that time on. The man did everything he could, and I think on my seventh month, I could walk without someone guiding me. So, I decided to go home and continue my medication. But then, 
the man opted to go with me. So, he can see where I live and be checking up on me regularly. You won't believe what I came believe what I came to meet in the house, where we stay in as husband and wife. When we entered the house, we knocked at the door of my living room, only for my pastor to come out of my room wearing only boxer pants. Without anything at the top. As soon as he saw me, he went inside and in about some few minutes, my wife came out having a cloth wrapped on her body. Please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Our brothers and sisters do share with us their stories not for sharing sake. But they are meant for us who still do have chances not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. People are really taking their fellow human beings through situations that are beyond human imaginations. How can a wife be this cruel to a man who took you and decided to love beyond measure? It is, or was it a crime for the man to take you and father a child he knew was not his? Now my dear sisters, if you are entering into marriage where you know you don't love the man, there is no point in getting into it, and at the end of the day, take someone through hell. Let us know that, whatever we do unto someone today, same will be done to us when the time comes. So let us learn to respect the human race by treating ourselves equally. And to my fellow men, please don't let this story from our brother deter you from experiencing love. I always say that, there are good women out there. So, if you meet someone and it does not go how you expected it to, don't give up. Gather the strength and push forward in life. Someone special will be waiting for you out there. Please let us be wise and vigilant. Thank you and stay safe, till we meet again in the continuation of the story.